can't just find a long term partner like by going to the bar or going to a, uh, a strip club or going to a place where it's just mainly for fun with that kind of mindset of finding just a long term partner. It's more so, of uh, the go ahead. So you're saying using a no kissing for three months dating role. So your first point was you said using a no kissing for three months dating role means I'm overlooking people who have a high sex drive. Now, yeah. one thing that I like about the no kissing rule is if you want to hook up, go get a hookup. But don't pick a long term partner the same way you pick a hookup because a lot like the hookup is do I find you attractive enough to have sex? Do I trust you enough to have sex? That's two points. A long term partner is do you have work ethic? Are you trustworthy? Do you actually even want a committed relationship, which you might say in the beginning, but listen, only time tells if that's actually true. Uh, because if I'm not sticking around or if I'm not having sex with you and you just wanted sex, then you're not sticking around. So this is going to help me understand whether or not you are actually looking for a committed long term partner. It's also going to help me understand if you like me as a person, because if you don't like me as a person, but you just want to have the sex, then you are going to move on. So somebody who has a high sex drive, by the way, do you not understand that somebody who has a high sex drive? can masturbate did you know that that's something that we can do for ourselves if we have sexual desires and and we feel mm -hmm. like we want a release from that um masturbation is actually a very functional tool when it comes to addressing our bodies and the desires that our bodies have uh so okay. that Real quick. Real quick. No thing is is about protecting ourselves from falling into a relationship with somebody we don't even know. Okay. But here's here's the thing. Here's the thing that you're missing again. It's like you can tell if someone likes you through a conversation. I don't know if they're good for me. That's the thing. Everybody is not good for everybody. That's the reality. That's why a lot I need of, to know of who they are first. That's why I need a lot to know of, who they are first. A lot of time we gotta make compromises, you know. But I true or solid. Body for a stranger? No fucking way am I compromising my body for a stranger. No, 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 no. That's what you're. That and exactly what I'm saying. You're seeing it as your body, like sex and all that. And it's understandable the, the way you see it that way. I'm not saying as that. I see it as oh, sex is just a form of like making some type of connection. Or it depends on how you want that kind of connection to be between whoever you're going to do it with. That's what I see sex as. You see sex as like a gateway to uh, accepting your trust and, and your worth. I mean, and that's, I'm, that's I'm my saying, problem. I'm saying you have to show me you're trustworthy and worth my time before I have sex with you. Why is that wrong? I, I, that's what I'm saying. It's not wrong, but it's the way you're imposing the idea also onto other people. You see I what I'm mean, saying? No, no, no. And, no. Everybody and should do what they want. You don't have to and, do and this. Why, and hold on. That's why I said you're neglecting those with higher sex drive too. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to look for a long, if you want to look for like a long term, I'm not trying to give it a like, I don't want anybody taking my advice. I don't care. But you got to understand that even with society standard, sex is somewhat a bad thing. In, in fact, higher body count is seen as a bad thing. But here's the thing. There's going to be people that literally will marry a prostitute or a hell, even a stripper. That's the reality. But hold on. Hold I'm on. a stripper. Even, even there, there, there's a uh, prostitute. Huh? I'm a married stripper. Okay. That, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm. I don't see. I don't see nothing hell about it. I mean, they're prostitutes. They still they do their job while they're even married, and people see it as something normal. It's you know. I, well, I take that back. There's Not a people. Between... Hold on. That's what I'm saying. That, that's why I said I take that back. Not people, but certain kind of people are seeing it as something normal. You see what I'm saying? Th literally, those are the ones that are developed mentally. You know, mentally and emotionally, they see something like that normal. Like something like, oh, prostitute, even though she wants to, uh, you know, mate with other people and stay in the relationship and she's still stable mentally and she's taking going to a therapy. It's OK. And, and I said society has changed a lot of stuff. 
And that's why I said, if you're seeing sex as a form of creating a long-term relationship, you're bound to fail. Yes. It's exactly. okay. It's okay. It, yeah. re regardless, it, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be seeing sex as a form of uh, making a long-term relationship. That's what I believe in. But you're seeing it then the way you are putting it. When you put, and that's why I say you put in restrictions on yourself doing that. Yeah, it's called impulse. You know, it doesn't make you create what you will. Okay, so here's the thing. It's called impulse control. I'm going to practice impulse control so that I don't fall for the wrong person. And somebody who doesn't like me practicing impulse control because it interferes with their desire to take control over me before I even know who they are, are exactly the kind of person I want to have walk away from me, exit the picture, because who I want to choose from are the people who respect me and who themselves also have impulse control. Okay, that, and that's understandable. Now, when you say impulse, that, that at that point, you shouldn't be looking for a relationship if you don't really understand yourself as a person. No, I'm not talking, I'm not referring to a person. I don't want to choose somebody who doesn't care to know who I am. So if you don't want to take three months to see who I am, then walk away. Oh, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. That, and that's what I'm saying. That's your own standard. At that point, when you say that, it becomes your own standard and your own way of life. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And, and 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 like and and that's why I said, just you got to make people understand the the idea about understanding themselves before venturing into a relationship, because they, yes. they're literally. And so and they're, that's why they use the no kissing for three months dating rule. I know my standards. I know who I need. I know it takes time to figure out if you are who I need. I'm not going to know this right away. So I'm using a no kissing for three months dating rule. This is an opportunity. I'm not taking anything away from you. I'm giving you an opportunity to show me who you are. If you don't want to take that opportunity, keep going. Okay. That's And, and, and again, that's I, I understand that. That, but the thing I still don't understand is the 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 way you're putting it. The the I mean, sure you make it like a law, so that way it gives. Because there are some people that are actually like uh they're slow at as act um asking uh other people's mind and understanding them in just one conversation and sitting. But you gotta understand there are also people that that they like um that are able to literally it just they can sit down and start a whole conversation whereby they connect mentally in uh in that conversation and they could see what they want from a partner i mean the, even you can see through no, someone that's trying to this manipulate here. you're saying in one conversation i can figure out if you're trustworthy if you're loyal if you have work ethic if you're financially responsible if you are consistent in your behaviors the list goes on and on i cannot see that in a conversation i need to see over time what the patterns of behavior are because it doesn't matter what you say what matters is what you do and time to observe what you do Okay. Well, I agree with what you say. All right. It's nice talking to you. It's nice talking to you, my friend. Thank you for contributing. All right. Bye. Bye.